Now we're rolling. Game Day 2002 is, from the ground up, a new gaming experience. In 1998, we were the first to apply polygons on the PlayStation to a football game. We stretched the power of the machine and did it in 98, 99, 2000, 2001. And on PlayStation 2 now, it's a whole new ball game. We had to pretty much redesign this game this year from the bottom up because the PlayStation 2 is a brand new platform. There's things that you can do on the PlayStation 2 that you've never done on previous platforms. The motion capture process that we used this year was uh, really a, a pioneering effort in motion capture technology. The basic process that we go through is to bring the athletes in, pick up the motion capture sensors onto them. I work with the producers mainly to uh, come up with a list of motions that we're going to do for that day. Beautiful. This is raw motion capture of a two-on-one tackle. These are the raw motion capture sensors. Here's the skeleton that we attach to the sensors. Each sensor is specifically made to, to have a bone follow it. We have a significant amount of tackles, upwards around uh, 70 to 90 different tackles. We have former pro players who are, are now stuntmen. We're actually mo-capping what it takes for a 270-pound person to lift and throw another 270-pound person. I reworked the tackling system from the ground up, but I also reworked what was happening around the tackles. The players are actually working together to take a guy down. So he comes in, boom! We've got two guys taking one guy down. We've got three guys taking one guy down. We've got so many blocking schemes, so many receiver moves in this game that no two players are ever going to look alike. I don't want the players just to hit each other. I want them to... Gage! I want them to need a hug from their mother when they're done playing this game. There's all sorts of things that we like to put in our stadiums so that the game player feels like they're really there. This is Soldier Field where the Chicago Bears play. Our artists have been pretty meticulous about getting an architecture uh, that you'll recognize from the stadium. Uh, with the columns, it just, it's a really gorgeous stadium. Here's the, the newer football field. There's some wear pattern going on right there. But in the course of the season, they'll get progressively worn down. Now here's Ralph Wilson Stadium for the Buffalo Bills. Right there, this is this just goes to show you the kind of stuff we're putting in these stadiums. There's Columbus machines, and there's a electric boxes right there. Maybe you see them, maybe you don't, but they're there, and, and it all adds to how real the game is. Some of those really hardcore players will realize there's a lot of love put in these stadiums. With the advent of PlayStation 2, the technology that's available to us and the power that's behind the PlayStation 2 has increased our ability to give detail by a factor of 10. Our team consists of about 30 different artists. We've all sort of specialized in certain areas. We're going into the charts, into the player profiles, studying what they prefer to wear. We had a style guide from the NFL. This is what we use as reference. You see that Eagles on their shirt there? You can read that stuff. We are pleased with the texture maps and what the player models look like. We've done some things that are unprecedented. You can see the reflection in the helmet. It's very realistic. It actually reflects the stadium. The helmet has a specular map that works independently. Therefore, when the light moves, the reflection won't. That is very sophisticated. The jerseys are absolutely realistic in how they're constructed. The panels are in the same places. The mesh is the same thickness because it's the subtle things that really make the difference. Everything is modeled exactly to the finest detail, just like the real NFL. You're going to see, you know, when the guy throws a ball, he's going to hold the ball, he's going to throw it, and his hand's going to open. Or he's going to catch a ball, it's going to be fairly open, he's going to catch the ball and hold on to it. The fingers match on the laces the way NFL quarterbacks hold the football. And that's true of tackles, it's true of everything, where the running back's cradle the ball. And there are literally hundreds, if not thousands, of those kinds of tails that add up to the total game experience. You know, when tackling a job like animating a face, first of all, you have to realize that the face is 
the most complex part of the human body. We set up a skeletal system for the face that controls the upper and lower lip, the jaw, the eyebrows, the eyelids, and the eyes. We actually take photo reference of the actual player, like this year's featured <laughs> player is Donovan McNabb, quarterback of the Eagles. And we took him, we photographed him, we used his audio, and then we'd take that all into the program, and we'd model his face based on his reference photos to create the likeness of him. And then we actually used reference videotape of what he was actually saying in the session. This ain't your daddy's game day anymore. We have to get in there and pay attention to every single detail, every single little eyebrow position and consonant and vowel. <laughs> It's kind of exciting to, you know, create what, what I believe is some of the best face animation I've ever seen in a game. This ain't your daddy's game day anymore! Well, we are NFL game day, which means the NFL is a big part of it. We brought in experts from the NFL to show us, hey, how do you capture an NFL game? Where do you place the camera? What kind of camera cuts do you do in what situations? Dick Enberg's our play-by-play -play guy. This is the voice of Wimbledon. This is the voice of the Masters. This is the voice of sports in general. He brings passion to the process. 15, 10, 5, touchdown! Oh my! We added Dan Fouts this year because he's a voice of Monday Night Football. He's an insightful voice. He's played quarterback. He can break things down for us. Donovan McNabb obviously has the physical gifts. He's big, athletic, and strong arm. But what makes him great is an unflappable poise under pressure. And so that's where the commentary can kind of complement the graphics, the gameplay, the AI. So the NFL is instrumental in helping us make a quality game that is, in fact, NFL game day. It's not for the meek. This is 30 weight game developer programming coffee. <laughs> Are you kidding me, right? It's got the best graphics. It's the most technically advanced. It's the most fun. This game is the best game that's ever been made. The PS2 has opened up so much for our creativity that, that we've been able to just put polygons in our texture space. We've got so many resources available to us that it allows us to get the game closer and closer to reality. You know, our, our goal is to have someone walk in the room and look at uh, the TV and say, hey, what game are you watching? You know, I say, I'm not watching the game, I'm playing game day.